Relax, he's getting in. Only better, Ari. He's a legacy. Legacies are as sure a thing as me having to beg for blowjobs. <laughs> My God! <laughs> look at that. I don't believe, usually I have to get us weekly to get a look at those pretty eyes. <laughs> and then I have to look at the wee bottom lower corner of the frame to see the top of this little man's head. <laughs> you look a little pudgy, are you? You put on a little weight? Oh, oh you wish, 6% body fat. <laughs> Achieve that when you're 40 and I'll give you 100 grand. When'd you get in? Leave it to E to pick the most romantic spot on earth right after he gets dumped. So? So, so, this is awkward. What's awkward? We, uh, we don't even know why we're here. <laughs> Ari, why aren't you upset? She's just a secretary, a low-level messenger. I don't have time to deal with that. We're gonna go to our old buddy, Dr. Reich, a higher level. What can he do? He is on the board of trustees, baby. All right, we didn't spend all those nights at his queer piano parties for nothing. Uh, you know, you're on the board and I need help. <laughs> Ari! I'm the guy that knows you got a little skank you keep on the Wilshire Corridor. Stays here. What are you not telling me? Hey, shoes off, Ari! Hey, fuck you, drama! Yes, see, I would say being rejected by cans before we have a distributor would be a disaster. One in a series of disasters orchestrated by you since you took the reins of Vince's career. A, I could give you a hug and say it's okay that you destroyed your best friend's career. Or B, I could have you come in here and write on the dry erase board 500 times, I destroyed my best friend's career, I destroyed my best friend's career. I go with B. I love Latin men in uniform. See? Gay Joe Public. I resent that. Who cares what the movie looks like? Good trailer, sexy cast, boom. He's a businessman, Eric. Not your prom date who still holds a grudge because you didn't fuck her right. Then why the fuck are you here? Did you talk to him about this? No, I spoke to him. He hung up on me. He hung up on you. Well, I'm hanging up on you in person. Do you know that your man broke out of the Oompa Loompa factory and is up to no good? Did you wait for a callback? As the French might say, no, I fucking cannot. Call waiting. Later, loser. Lloyd, I see dead people. Why? Uh, we're in a cemetery, Knight. Even for you, this is bizarre. My night, M. Knight, will be dedicated to nothing but enjoying your latest creation. Oh, fuck. Look at this thing. It's like 200 pages. Find me a flashlight. I'm going to have to read this at the table. Just chew fast and don't order an appetizer or dessert. What, what, listen, what's so bad? Uh, you got the check before we got our entrees? At least I paid, right? Jesus Christ. The valet probably stole it. Don't be racist. Valets steal shit, all right? Just because they're mostly Hispanic doesn't make me a racist. My life is over! Nobody's gonna know you did it. Yes, they will, because Knight, the little sick fuck, printed my name on every fucking page! It's gone. It's not fucking here. They fucking stole it. The motherfucker stole it. What? Did they replace it with this? What the fuck is that? Get in there. What are you, fucking blind? You're the one that drove it home, schmuck. Why would I buy a black cock? <sighs> OK, do you, is there a, a manager? I am the manager. I, I, uh, an English-speaking manager? I speak English. Uh, first language, English-speaking. There's always something that can be done, baby. Sometimes you just have to think really, really hard. So everybody think. Any, anyone got something? You got something? No, Ari. What the fuck were you doing at Morton's tonight? What? The valet switched our cars. What? Answer me. Who the fuck were you with? What? See, that's my briefcase. Thank you, God. Answer me, you piece of shit. What? Uh, listen, uh, here are your keys. Can I get mine? I am fucking waiting for a fucking answer. Tonight till you die, pal. Yeah, Lloyd. Just wanted to make sure you were up and reading. Well, I'm up, but I am not fucking reading. God, you're even angry in the evening. Fuck off, Lloyd. Spent the night in jail. Oh, my God. Ari, right, why didn't you call me? Because you get one call, and I wanted to use it on someone I'd like to have sex with. Save your homoerotic slave labor for me, Lloyd. E, don't take your shirt off. I don't want anyone going blind from the reflection off your translucent boy chest. So this is good news? No. This is not good news. Good news is when the wife agrees to eat box for your birthday. This? is great news. I, well, even though I pretty much find E useless, he did slip me this one year ago. Oh, uh, wow, you remember this, Ari? Don't get all misty on me, E. Oh, yeah. Plus, I got pictures, slides, actually, of her begging me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Choose some clothes other than the ones from Salvation Army, E. How is the most fuckable president of production in town? Rock Cristal and Sprinkles Cupcakes. Your favorite, or is it mine? What's the difference? We used to eat everything off each other anyway. Have you seen Vince's trailer? It's fucking great. Gonna be downloaded more times than Britney's beaver shot. But this is good. Lay off the icing, Dana. It looks like your hips could use a breather. Fuck you. Fuck you.
Sorry, Ari, that was a reflex. <laughs> there he is, there he is. Keep the moistness out of your pants, Lloyd, and just wait. What do you think they were doing in that cave for two weeks? They were using each other's asses as hand warmers. Excuse me, miss, can we get a couple of woo-woos over here? What, what the fuck is a woo-woo? Woo-woo! Dana, listen, I know that deep down my behavior really turns you on. I parted the Red Sea for you, E. Don't piss on the sand. Hey, dumb fuck. Is this not an offer with Vinny's name on it? Okay, um... Who the e fuck are you and what are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, hi, uh, I'm... Hello? I need a fucking assistant! I'm yes. wondering if you know where Tom is. Ah, I am Tom. You're Tom? Yes. Lloyd's Tom? I used to be. Who are you? I don't get it. You're a good-looking guy. You can get girls. Ari. You cheated on Tom? What? You little fucking slut, Lloyd. I love a liar, but I hate a cheater. Get your ass back to the office and get that fucking dartboard down off your wall. <laughs> huh? E, it's your job to help him to get the movies that he wants, not to fuck them up. Boom, problem solved. He goes back to being a manager. I get him paid as a producer anyway. Lottery strikes again for you, E. Jesus, fuck. All right, well, we're off to see another public school. Well, that's not so bad, you know. I'm a product of the public school system. Me too. You self-righteous blackballing little cunt bag. Well, a nice day to both of you. Asshole fuck face. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. It's playtime, Ari. This is what kids do when they play. This is what inmates do when they're gonna overtake the guards. Ari. That wasn't very... Ah. No way is my son going to that school. No way! Good news, Ari? Don't ask questions, Lloyd, not until you stop dressing like Paula Poundstone. Bradley! Wearing my best tie, Ari. Great, zip up that fly. No multiples freak me out, Ari. Can gays have multiples, Lloyd? You know how siblings can be, right? Oh, you have a brother. I do, and a whore of a sister, so I can relate to the sibling squabbling. Listen to me. Just man the fuck up, okay? We got Mary J coming in today. Like the new office number, E, you know it spells 274 cock. It does not. No, it doesn't, but I made you look. Why are you so out of breath? Are you christening the place with a nice midday jerk? You called Peter Jackson's company? Yeah, how'd you know? Because they called me. Why'd they call you? Because they don't know who the fuck you are. People call me, then I call you. You tell Vince what I tell you. Vince tells you what to tell me. You're like a... Uh, a ventriloquist in a dummy's body. Uh, if you want people to call you back, may I suggest that you get a van with a large bullhorn on the top, drive around Hollywood, announcing that after three years of hibernating in Vince Chase's ass, Eric Murphy has come out to play. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up. I've heard enough out of both of you today. Lloyd, go. You guys should have had this out in the carpool inn. We don't carpool, Ari. We live on opposite sides of town. Really? Because I would have pictured you two living in the same condo together in, like, bunk beds with a little race car. Ari. Shut up! Don't say another word. Pretend like you're afraid of me, OK? I'm feeling a little insecure right now because I'm wondering what I'm doing wrong that would allow you two to fuck with my focus on a day when I need to be on my A game, on a day when, if I'm not, we could see MJ hip and hop her way back to ICM. And if that were to happen, best case, you two are managers in the Valley. Worst case, you're a freak show performing at the Santa Monica Pier. Now, with that in mind, tell me, why in God's name is this happening? He fucked my wife, Ari. He did not. You, you did? You fucked his wife? As you? What? Did you pretend to be him? Or did she actually fuck you thinking you were you? You think this is funny? No, I think it's disgusting. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out why she did that. I mean, if I were to cheat on my wife, it would be with like a you know, a busty blonde or a, an Asian with pointy nipples, but an exact fucking replica. Stop. It's time, Ari, it's time. Calm, this Mary Shane Plash just got off the elevator. Be cool, Lloyd, be cool. <laughs> I can't be cool. Oh, I feel my beating heart. She's a chick, Lloyd. There may be hope for you yet. Hey. Hey, Ari, you got it right. What the hell? How can one embryo produce two fucking losers? Ari. What's the problem? The problem is you're a disgusting mutant. Now go reconjoin with your brother on the unemployment line. I have Dana Gordon. Weird, I used to push up on top of Dana Gordon like this. True story.
Did you get the Billy Walsh script? Shut the fuck off, Lloyd! Yeah. Oh. Turtle. Drama. Hey, hey, Ari, what's up? What's up, Lloyd? I'm looking for Vince. Do you know where Vince is? Aren't you supposed to go through E for Vince? You try E? If he's there, put him on the fucking phone, Turtle. I called E and emailed him, too. Let me see if he's here. Hang on. I'll see if I can locate him. Yo, Vince, you here for Ari? Why wouldn't I be? Lloyd says he can't find E. Oh, it's fine. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, Vince. Hold for Ari. OK. I got Ari, Vince. <laughs> Ari. Vince! I got Vince. I got fucking Vince. Vince! <clears throat> where the hell is E? M-I-A. Well, we need him, because maybe that neurotic little elf nipping at your heels will make you understand that we are in a major crisis situation here. No, you're bringing your wife? It's supposed to be a boy's trip. Vinny, when you get married, you realize that a wife is like a herpes sore. She comes and goes when and where she pleases. This has been an extraordinary day. We're at Code Red. Please, come on. We're at Code Red every time the president has a loose stool. Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Ari. You're not my mistress. Stop being mad at me. I'm no longer mad. Well, you shouldn't be, Lloyd, because I'd love to have you in cancer. Go home, pack your favorite sarong, and consider yourself invited. Are you serious, Ari? I'm so serious that I'm actually embarrassed for myself. That's very sweet of you, Ari. It's not that sweet, because I don't want to see you when I'm there. This is a man's trip, so you're going to have to find your own dick click. There's not one more plane? There was one, but Sidney Pollack just booked it. Fuck! Bring the wife, Ari? Nope, and I'm actually sad. Still sad, Ari? Yeah, but uh, I will get over it. Cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers. Welcome to the good night. What's the matter, Lloyd? You and Tom want to listen to my voice while you dildo each other? Big balls for a little man. I love it. You're going to be on permanent vacation if we don't sell this movie. Now, I want you to break out your pink Rolodex, call every queer assistant in town, and tell them to open their mouths like JT is going to drop a load in it. You're full of shit. I was full of shit when I told you I had a condom at Live Aid. This, on my children's names, is real. Way to be positive. That's... Oh, please, come on. The guy's as positive as Mother Teresa's AIDS test. Fuck you, Ari. <laughs> Time to drink, boys.